What's up, guys? Justin here with another poorly reviewed beer from Sugar Creek Brewing Company in Charlotte, North Carolina. This is the Sugar Creek Pale Ale. Uh, notes from the brewery. A multicultural fusion combining American and European styles. This, this ale, brewed with imported Belgian specialty malts, supported by a traditional English floor malt backbone, is hopped to some of America's most popular whole cone hop varieties, yielding a surprisingly refreshing and well-balanced pale ale. Pronounced flavors of fruit, citrus, pine, and grapefruit balance a caramelized toastiness from our unique malt combination, appealing to both hop heads and malt lovers alike. Expect a medium-bodied ale with a dry finish that will lend itself to easy drinking any time of year. 5.2% ABV and 40 IBUs. So I poured this a minute ago. Um, and I poured it maybe just a, a, a tad more violently than I, I do most beers, but uh, I had a good uh, about a third of a glass worth of head, maybe up to but maybe about, about that far was um, all head when I poured it. And again, I don't think I did it a, a whole lot more violently than normal. But, um... Uh, slightly hazy. And really, that came came through when I first poured it. I'd only poured about, say, eight or nine ounces in. And, uh, it was pretty well see-through. So there was a good amount of... good amount of delicious stuff there in that bottom two, three, four ounces. Um, that made it because it was, went from almost see-through to to pretty hazy. Uh, it's a nice orangey color, orange gold color, and um, even after having uh, poured it a few minutes ago, it it maxed out. Uh, after the repour, it still went up to probably a good uh, finger, finger and a half worth of head, and we still have a little bit uh, hanging around there. All right, enough visual. Let's get to drinking. Mm. Really nice, delicate hop uh, hop flavor combination. I'm, I'm getting some uh, some nice, delicate orange and citrus to lead off. Then the pine starts to push through, um, kind of after the after the citrus. Getting tropical fruits as well. Maybe like a, a, a papaya, something along those lines. Good amount of grapefruit as well. Um, grapefruit and the the tropical fruits, the pine are probably the, the three biggest three biggest flavor notes. I'm also getting a, a little bit of maltiness. I feel like the mouth the maltiness is a little bit more of a, a mouthfeel thing than a a real flavor thing. The, the the hops really shine through here, flavor wise. There's not a, not a ton of bitterness. Just really really nice hop flavors. Just a a hint of sweetness. Um, kind of a, a sugar like sweetness. Um, just really nice. Um, I would say probably not so much, uh, certainly doesn't carry the bitterness of a lot of pails, so that might be a bit of a, a turn off for the hop heads. It's just, it's, it's, I want to call it mild, but there's plenty of flavor there. But it's, I, I used delicate earlier, nuance is maybe a, a, a good descriptor. Nuanced or subtle, and subtle. Um, yeah, I, I just... I say mild, but I don't want to give the impression that there's anything missing from the beer. A lot of real nice flavors, just nothing that overwhelms you or uh, anything like that. So that's a, that's a beer really delicious. Again, Sugar Creek Pale Ale. Uh, just really tasty, uh, nice little beer. So the day of this recording, October 27th, 2016, marks the final day of the first year of poorly reviewed beer. Uh, tomorrow is PRB's 
one year birthday. I had had a, a few blog entries going back into September of 2015, but um, October 28th, 2015, I really started writing in earnest and with regularity, and so I consider that the official birth date of, uh, of PRB. Um, it's been a, a heck of a ride. Uh, I've reviewed uh, some 300 beers, so almost uh, one a day. Um, that's both written and video. In terms of video alone, this is uh, the 56th video, I believe. 55 or 56. I've um, re reviewed over 60 beers. That's just been since uh, February. And uh, so that's been uh, really exciting. We crossed over the 300 beer threshold uh, sometime last week, or I think over the weekend. Um, and so just to have done almost a beer a day, I think is really, really special. Um, I've also been able to check out a few beer events. I've been able to check out the, the beer scenes in a few different cities. And I want to be able to do uh, that kind of stuff on an even grander scale uh, for the next year. Probably hit more in two different cities. Charleston would be an easy one, but maybe someplace a little bit further out would be neat to do as well. And um, we're lucky South Carolina has a, a pretty... A pretty burgeoning beer scene, and there's all kinds of events going on all year round. So, um, we're really excited for what PRB has to has in store for year two. Um, I'd like to thank everyone that's uh, watched this YouTube channel, and everybody that's uh, read the blog at poorlyreviewedbeer.com, uh, my family and friends for their support, as well as all the all the readers and watchers for their support as well. And um, here's to year two. Cheers. Um, that is it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. Uh, next time, the next video review is going to be a surprise, both to you and to me. Uh, I have a few things in the in the fridge I can pick from, but I haven't chosen anything specific yet. So uh, we'll see what's next up this weekend. You can find all of our reviews, both video and written, along with news, commentary, and more at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. Also check out PRB on Twitter and Facebook. Those links will be in the description below, and if you are so inclined, feel free to like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.